So we have previously discussed diagonal matrices and that their eigenvalues appear on the diagonal and their eigenvectors form the standard bases in Rn. Well, the feature that I'll discuss now can be considered as a satellite office of a diagonal matrix. What I'm talking about is having a single non-zero entry in an entire column as long as that non-zero entry appears on the diagonal. It's kind of a single column of a diagonal matrix, but it has to be in the right place. It has to be in the same place it would have been in a diagonal matrix. So I'll clarify that with an example with just a moment. But for now, if we just look at this matrix, it will have 12 as an eigenvalue, and the corresponding eigenvector is 0, 1, 0. And this is easy to see, because if you multiply this matrix by this vector, the result will be the second column of the matrix, which is 0, 12, 0. And lo and behold, it's a multiple of the incoming vector. It's the incoming vector times 12. So 12 is an eigenvalue, and 0, 1, 0 is the corresponding eigenvector. So the eigenvector has a 1 in the same location as the number of the column. This is the second column. That's why there is a 1 there. And you can see how that's related to a diagonal matrix, or this being a single column from a diagonal matrix. And you can see that all of the other entries are completely immaterial because they're not even used in this multiplication. So whenever you have a matrix, no matter how full of values that you don't care about it is, if you just pick out one column in which the non-zero entry appears on the diagonal, that tells you an eigenvector and the corresponding eigenvalue and it has to be on the diagonal. Were it not on the diagonal, let's, let's say it's in the third row. Let's say this is a zero, and we have a non-zero entry in the third row of the second column. So it's still the only non-zero entry in its column. But the, what we said before simply doesn't apply, because if we were to multiply this matrix by zero, one, zero, the result would be zero, zero, ten. And that's not 10 times the input vector because the entry is in the wrong place. So we're not able to tell any eigenvalues or eigenvectors of this matrix that non-zero entry must be on the diagonal. So that completes this, this example. That's the only eigenvalue eigenvector pair that we can extract from what we noticed. And now let's talk about the rows. So what if we have a non-zero entry that's alone in its row? and it's in the proper diagonal position. So it's like a row extract from a diagonal matrix. Does this same logic still apply? Well, it doesn't quite apply because no matter what you try in terms of an eigenvector, try to get the corresponding eigenvector from what would have been in a diagonal matrix, this won't work because this matrix times the corresponding vector 0, 0, 1 would pick out the third column and that's not helping our cause at all. So the only thing that we're able to say in this case is that 7 is an eigenvalue and we don't know the corresponding eigenvector. Why is 7 the eigenvalue? Why are we still able to make that claim? Well, that's because if we were to consider the transpose of this matrix, imagine what the transpose of this matrix looks like. Well, it'll have 0 alone in its column and it will be still in the right location on the diagonal. So for its transpose, we can say that 7 is an eigenvalue and 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 is the corresponding eigenvector. And because a matrix and its transpose have identical eigenvalues, we can make the claim that 7 is an eigenvalue of this matrix and we don't know the corresponding eigenvector.